friends, welcome to the Lori Lulu Crochet Podcast, episode 120. What? <laughs> my name is Lori. I live in the Chicago suburbs with my husband Ryan and our cat Daisy. And you'll occasionally hear the airplanes flying because I'm really close to the airport. Anyway, I love to knit. I love to crochet. I love all things yarny. You can find all of that on my social media links, which are down below in the description box. If you look below this video, you will find it. Um, so yeah, Instagram, Ravelry, the email for this podcast, all of that is down below. All the yarns, fancy yarns and patterns that I talk about will also be linked down below. So welcome. I'm glad you're here on this very sunny day. <laughs> I was a little worried um, when I got up this morning. It was kind of cloudy and so I was just worried that it was it's not going to be a good day to film but I feel like I'm still... <laughs> there we go. There we go. The lighting's better now. Um, we got up this morning and went to get our taxes done so fun <laughs> um so i used to work at a cpa um it's about an hour away <laughs> i drove an hour one way to work every day and during tax season it was six days a week so i went back down there um because they do it for free <laughs> but when i called to make the appointment um nobody answered because i forgot they don't open till nine um, anyway, um, so I called, got the voicemail, and it was still my voice on the voicemail. <laughs> so it's like, that's weird. Um, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, I've been gone every three years in May when I left. And honestly, it's not because of the job. I love that job because I could crochet all day. <laughs> as long as I, all the other stuff got done, he didn't care. Um, and now I let work just down the street. So, And that has been interesting as well because this week, um, our new associate vice president of philanthropy started. Um, so it was just nice getting to know him and try to figure out what we're gonna do with all of that um like get him trained yeah just trying to learn new dynamics of how the team is gonna work yeah um i did want to mention though um this is probably a couple weeks ago now because it's been a while since i've been on here um so a couple weeks ago, my coworker Tara messaged me Saturday morning. Like I'm still laying in bed because you know it's Saturday and I don't have anything to do. So <laughs> on those Saturdays, I soak it in as much as I can. Um, but she called or she texted me and she's like, "So what size knitting needle would I need if I was gonna use this kind of yarn?" And then she sent me a picture. And I was like, uh, because <laughs> part of me was like, I wanted to be there to like help walk her through the whole process. Um, but I was like, so I quickly looked up, it was on Michael, it's, she was at Michael's. So, and it was a Michael's brand, um, yarn. So I quickly looked it up. I said, well, according to the website, it says this, um, you should be able to find it on the ball band. There's a box that'll show you where it is. And so she's like, oh, I found the box. And I was like, great. And then I was like, did it say this size? And she said, yeah. So she got the size. She started knitting. Um, she's like, I really like casting on. <laughs> I was like, yeah, I can see that. You know, it's fun. And then she started actually knitting. And she's a tight knitter, and so she's having a hard time. She's like, I don't like this as much as I thought I would. And I was like, just give it time. Um, she's an artist. Like, she paints 
like you didn't become great at it the first time, right? It took some time for you to get to where you... Okay, so then she's wanting to go to Joanne sometime while we're on our lunch break um, and go get thicker yarn. She's like, I think I just got too thin yarn. And I was like, honey, I work with a much thinner yarn than that. She had worsted weight, and I usually use fingering weight, especially when I'm knitting socks. So, I was like, oh, that's nothing. <laughs> so, I'm going to go help her um, find a good yarn, a thicker yarn, and find the needles um, that she needs. Actually, I was like, the needles that she can get at Joanne, and especially if she's going to get circular needles, it's like, don't start with those. <laughs> you need to start with the good stuff. So I have some needles that I'm going to take. Just see if she wants them. She doesn't, she doesn't have to take them. So yeah, I'm hoping we can go this week. Although, um, she texted yesterday. Her grandpa is not doing so well. And this morning she said he's still with us. But he's in a lot of pain and everything so just pray for that family <laughs> and yeah it's been a long year so far with her grandpa and his issues so anyway so we'll see how this week goes for that um yeah what else has gone on um what do I want to start with? Oh, we'll just start with the lipstick. <laughs> no, that sounds so weird. Um, so I found this TikTok. Um, it's a new, new to me channel. Um, I'll link her down below. But she starts, she's like, I'm starting a new series to force myself to wear the lipstick that I own. And I was like, oh, like that's how she started. So she's like, so I'm starting a series called Just Wear Your Stupid Lipstick. <laughs> I was like, okay. And I was like, well, what do I own? I Oh, I forgot to grab it. It's like I have these two colors. I also have this one, which I hate this color. I think it's too light. If you hear the water, it's my heating system. Everything's fine. It's just noisy right now um I think it's just too light I feel like it is 80s <laughs> there's a lot of like makeup trends from the 80s that I feel like traumatize me and I just I don't even want to wear them um so this one I'm definitely gonna shuck I'm not gonna wear that um this one I actually went and bought a new one because I saw it they had it in stock and I was like I want to make sure I get it this color says Color of a Girl Outlast All Day. This is what I wore at my wedding 20 years ago. Yeah, the same color still. <laughs> like, they still make it. They still make this type. They, yeah. So, um, I was on the hunt for it because I didn't ha I hadn't had any for several years. Um, and so, I found this one, which is, it's Maybelline. 24 hour color um it is a lot oh, I can't really quite tell them but it's a lot darker and I always felt self-conscious when I wore it and I was just like don't think I want to keep this one um but then I was like saw this tiktok just wear your stupid lipstick I was like okay so I wore this to work uh one day and one of my coworkers was like you look really pretty today and I was like okay and this one I told her about just wear the stupid lipstick and she was like well I really like that color why didn't you, you should wear it more often and I was like well thank you now I will but I'm also using so like those three colors and I have a lip gloss that I wear quite frequently too um just because it does a lot of moisture for my lips that's what I like about lip gloss let me set that aside um but I'm not really like a lipstick person like I'd just rather have chapstick 
but I've always wanted to be a lipstick person. So, particularly, I've always wanted to be a red lipstick person. So, I went out and I bought, well, first I bought this one. It's a lip gloss. It's Tropical Punch. It's more, it's reddish, but it's not like red lip like you see in the movies and stuff. And then I found this one, which is again, it's, it's a lip oil, so it's a lip gloss kind of thing. Um, I can't even tell you what color it is because I can't even read that. And then I found this one. And I found this one. Then Now this isn't red, it's berry. I really like this color. I've been wearing it quite a bit. But I went and got red. And this is um, CoverGirl Outlast Ulti Matte, which I don't like matte really, but this was on sale. <laughs> um, I think the color is Wine O'Clock. So I've worn it around the house. I'm going to wear it here. So. So here it is. Oh my goodness. Yeah. I have always wanted to do this, but I've always been scared. And I think one time we were on a double date with another couple and one of the ladies, like she barely wore her makeup anyway, but on the date she like she had her makeup done and she had a bright red lip. And I was like, holy red lips, Batman. And I was like, so <laughs> anyway, so yeah. Like I said, it's matte, so I'm not, I don't really like that too much. <laughs> Fix that one side. Um, so yeah, we'll see how this goes throughout the day. Um, the last time I wore it, I did put this on top. Just to kind of give a little moisture. And a little bit of shine, because I like shine. There we go. Yeah. So I showed Ryan and he's just like, okay. So I'm actually going to like really try it out on the cruise. See how well I like it <laughs> throughout that day, you know, throughout vacation. Vacation, you can do all kinds of fun stuff, right? <laughs> so but yeah, I figured perfect for Valentine's Day and it goes with my new shirt. It's a kitty Valentine's and she's got yarn. <laughs> I love this shirt. I saw it and I was just like, this is amazing. I need this shirt. Although I did not have a all black cap. Oh, I did a long, long time ago. Like when I was six, I had an all black cap. Anyway, um, the only other life thing that I want to talk about um, so you all have, have been, were here, it was during Vlogmas two years ago, um, when my best friend passed away. Like, I was, like, filming and then I saw that she passed away and then I was on, like, like, I'm done for the day. <laughs> I'm done recording for the day because just couldn't deal with it. Um, but her family and her, and other friends of hers. They started doing this thing. Now, her brother did it um, on the day that she died. So that's in December. But most other people do it on her birthday, which is February 1st. And her name was Tiffany. And she loved Chick-fil-A. Like, she, like, the first time I ever had Chick-fil-A was with her. Um, excuse me. So... <laughs> Um, so what they do is they buy a bunch of gift cards for Chick-fil-A and then they write on it, hashtag breakfast on Tiffany, like the song and the movie and the book, although it's breakfast at Tiffany's, um, is the 
Anyway. Um, <clears throat> so what they do is they do breakfast on Tiffany. And then they stand at the drive-thru and they hand out these gift cards. Now, I was not going to be standing in the drive-thru here. Because it's Chicago. <laughs> because it's Chicago and because it's Chicago weather. Um, so I just got a few and then handed them out to my co-workers. I was like, here, you can have breakfast on Tiffany today. Or tomorrow or whenever. Because um, they all love to Chick-fil-A just as much as she did. Um... So that was like, that was a fun day, even though it was sad thinking about my best friend. <sighs> this year was rough for some reason. Um, I think because it hit me, because she was always six months older than me. And I think last summer it hit me like, I'm older than her now. She will never be as old as I am. Like, she would have been 44. I will be 44 in August. Um, so, yeah, it was just, it was rough. But I'm glad I did it, you know? I'm glad I was able to honor her in that way. So, <clears throat> let's get started on yarny goodness, shall we? Um, everything is a mess right now, so let me... <laughs> Let me get my finished objects and then we'll talk about those, okay? Okay, so I have three finished objects to t tell you about today. <laughs> um, the first one is a crocheted iconic woman. I'm so excited to have another one done. Um, so for those of you who are new, this is a crochet iconic women book. It is by Carla Matrani. She has another book. It's more crochet more iconic women each book has 15 um but she also encourages you to mix and match and make your own um so i've been doing that a lot um so much so that i've even made up my own patterns for the new women in the new book so yeah um but this woman is not in the new book um this is Wilma Mankiller. Yeah. Oh my gosh. I love her. Look how cute she is. I should have done a little bit darker hair. Maybe I should have done black, but no, her hair wasn't quite that black. It was a very, very dark brown. Anyway, she is amazing. So I re-listened to her podcast um, on the History Chicks podcast. They did an episode on her. Um, <clears throat> like her, like she was very into active, social activism, like especially for Native Americans, which is what she is. Um, she is Cherokee and she's very active in women's rights as well. And just like, you know, we need to pass the equal rights amendment, all this stuff back in the seventies when they were trying to do that. Um, and then in the nineties. She became the first female principal chief of the Cherokee tribe, of the Cherokee nation. And like, she's just, she's just so awesome. And way back, not too long ago, but back in the day when they were talking about taking Andrew Jackson off the $20 bill, they thought they were, it was talk, there was talk about putting Wilma on it. And I was like, how amazing would that be to have an Indian replace him who was so against the Indians and wanted to wipe them out? And I was like, oh, that would have been so cool. Although Harriet Tubman on it would be just as great as well. So, this is Wilma Mankiller. She already had, I told you last time she has a quarter. She's already on one of the quarters. Um, the women's quarters are out now. I do have one of her. I'm still trying to find one for Bessie Coleman. If anybody knows where... <laughs> if anybody has one... No, I'm just kidding. Um, so, yeah. Um, she also has... Wilma also has a Barbie doll. And that's kind of where I got the dress pattern from. The stripe pattern. So, if you look up her... I'll put a link to the Barbie doll um, picture. So, you can see her Barbie as well. Like... 
and where I got the inspiration for the dress. Um, yeah. And her, I mean, she had a, like a bob. It's longer than mine. Like it came down to her shoulder. Um, but of course, trying to crochet that <laughs> makes it is a little difficult. But yeah, and she turned out so cute. I was so excited to finish her. So she will go in the cabinet with the others. Um, okay, let me pull out my pictures here. Do, 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 do. All right, the next finished object. I didn't even talk about starting this one, but I needed it done so I could have the needles to give to Tara <laughs> for her knitting um, journey. And so, um, if you've been around a while, you know that I made the udon beanie for all my coworkers, Gina and Beth and Tara. Um, like, look at how cute. Oh, I love this pattern. It is very difficult to make. Well, for me, I should say. <laughs> it's a difficult pattern for me, but oh my gosh. I just love how it turned. I, I love how it looks. Um, oh, I just dropped everything. <laughs> Great. So it was living in this bag that I got from uh, Allie from Little Drops of Wonderful. Her surf kit badge. I want another piece of paper. The yarn that I used, purple. This one, uh, this one is for me. I made it once before, but it was too big, so I needed to just actually make the pattern the way it was written. Um, but I used uh, Universal Yarn Uptown Bulky. Uh, it is 100% anti-pilling acrylic, and the colorway is eggplant. And here is my finished beanie. Oh my gosh. Like, I worked on it solid for two days. And just, like, I made sure I really concentrated. So I did not make any mistakes. And had to start all over because I don't know how to pick up this <laughs> stitch. Oh, goodness. Now, there are a couple of places where the stitches look a little off. And that's from where... I've had to join yarns because I frogged the, I frogged the beanie and then I gotta have to cut it sometimes, you know, and then of course there's knots in the yarn. Yeah. So there you go. <laughs> With the pom-pom it looks kind of funky, but yeah, this fits so much better than the last version I did so happy with it okay one last finished object on this bright sunny day <laughs> I'm filming this earlier than the rest of the podcast because I need to get these in the mail to my mom as soon as possible <laughs> actually as soon as I finish recording this little section section blah, blah, section I'm gonna go to the post office so you probably already know what I'm talking about, but living in here were the uh, CJ's Simple Mitts um, by Char Jess, or CJ. Um, real simple pattern, obviously. <laughs> it's very sunny today out. Um, worsted weight um, pattern, or worsted weight. Mittens. I almost said socks. Versed weight mittens. <laughs> so the yarns that I was using. Oh, I don't have the other sample. I don't know where it went to. Anyway. These are the yarns that I was using. Um, hold on. Open my little pocket here. Okay. It is... Cascade 220. Let's show this one. This one's not <laughs> torn. This one was. Um, Cascade 220 Superwash. Um, it is a worsted weight. For some reason, I was thinking it was a DK. It's a worsted weight yarn. Um, it is. Doo -doo -doo, where's the 100% Superwash wool? 
Um, the colors were soft pink, and this one was strawberry cream. So, I mean, there's not a lot of difference <laughs> in these yarns. So, I mean, in these colors. Um, the other yarn that I used, which I don't have a sample of, it's packed away in my scrap bag, um, is Creo Yarns. K-R-A-E-O, Creo Yarns, on their Mama Bear base, which is a DK 2-ply. It is 45% uh, baby alpaca, 45% merino wool, and 10% mulberry silk. And it's the colorway Magnolia. Oop, here's the <laughs> um, band. Um... I'll, I'll point it out on the mittens here. So, I did one of each color, two at a time. So the last time you saw, so here's, okay, so here's the magnolia right here. So yeah, I held it double because it's DK. Um, and this, the rest of the yarns were worse away. So, I did one mitt in the strawberry cream, one mitt in the soft pink. Last time you saw, I was here, so I finished the, the hand, and then I did the thumbs, and then I did a whole nother set. <laughs> so, here are my four mittens. One pair is for me, and one pair is for my mother. Um, I finished this one pair, and they were a little too short, even for me. And my, my fingers are a lot shorter than my mom's. Not a lot shorter, but just enough. So that's why I put this stitch marker here. You can see where I ripped back. I ripped back knitting. Guys, this is amazing that I am like, oh, I can just rip it out and start, you know, pick it up, start over again. Or not start over, but pick it up and keep going. So, yeah. So I made it a little bit longer and for this pair. I also had a problem with the thumbs, so I had to rip those back and start over. You can kind of see the line there. <laughs> but, a pair for my mother and a pair for me. So, these are going to her. I'm going to go mail these off now. And then I'm going to wear these for the rest of the winter. And so, I realized, after filming that last clip a week ago. Two weeks ago? A week ago. A week ago. I didn't even model my gloves, my mittens. So here are mine that I'm keeping. And my hat. And I got all these done just in time for it to be 60 degrees here in Chicago. <laughs> Where did winter go? I don't know. But I'm kind of glad it's gone. Mm hmm Makes in progress. I have three. And I'm probably going to just keep these three going until the cruise. <laughs> which it's not that far away. Um, so, the first one I wanted to show you, I have to find it now that everything fell. <sighs> All my papers got messed up. So, I'm working on the Halsey cardigan. This is by KT and the Squid. Um, yeah, there's the cardigan. Very cute, very cute. It is living in my Christmas sheep tote bag. It's a very sturdy tote bag. The yarn that I am using is Eddie Bauer. Eddie Bauer Cozy Camp. Um, this is 100% recycled acrylic in the colorway Carbon. Cause I, and I'm glad it's kind of like a marled looking one. I didn't want like solid black. Um, so yeah, I took this with me. Oh goodness, I'm dropping everything. I took this with me this morning on our way to a tax appointment and um, I got two rows done. <laughs> So, last time you saw, I went, where's the stitch marker? There we are. 
I was here. I had done six of those. Sorry. I should have gotten more done on it, but you know, sometimes I, it is just, it took me the whole trip to do two rows. And on the way back, I just didn't feel like working on it, but yeah, this is going to take me a while, I think. That's kind of why I wanted to, like, I didn't want to start anything new before the cruise. Just, let's just work on this and the other ones and see how much I can get done. Like, I just make myself do it. <laughs> I'll get it done. Um, yeah, so I'm right now, I'm in, like, so I've got the front, the front pieces in the back, and it's joined for under the arms, and it's just back and forth back and forth so i think i have to go to 44 rows i've got seven done hey, hey. <laughs> it's okay it's okay it'll be fine my other crochet project that i have going <laughs> it's in my wonder woman bag it is my crochet memories blanket Although, yeah, I'll show you the picture. It's by Hannah from the Cozy Cottage Crochet. So I always want to say it's the Cozy Memories Blanket. It's the Crochet Memories Blanket. It is corner to corner, join as you go, which is awesome. I have been adding my Advent yarns from this year. Excuse me. Um, so, imagine her name. <laughs> I have a yarn advent swap with two other viewers. If you want to join us this year, email me. We'd love to have you. Um, so yes, yeah, so I've been adding the yarns that Jill and Jennifer sent me this year. I've only added three squares, so those are the three squares with the stitch markers. Um, I think I'm going to add one more on this end. And then I'm going to start squaring it off. So, yeah, I started in the corner. And it's just growing, growing, growing. So, and I added this little top stitch here to differentiate between these are my advent yarns that I got in 2023. So, yeah, I'm very excited about this blanket. It's going to be a while. Like, you'll be seeing updates on this for quite a while, I'm sure. So, we'll just see how long, how big it gets. And it's nice, too, to be watching, you know, if you're just watching a movie or TV or YouTube, whatever you're doing. It's a real easy pattern. Corner to corner is not that hard. And then joining it as you go, still not that hard. So, that is... Thing in progress number two. Thing in progress number three is a pair of knitted socks. I started my kitty ankle socks. I'm so excited about this. So our current cat, the only cat we have right now is Daisy and she is gray and white. Dixie was our other cat. She was black and white. So I kind of went, I took the graph that was made for this. Actually, I can hear her outside. <laughs> um, and I added white spots um, to represent our girls. It is living in my Avengers bag because, um, you know, you have the Black Panther. Um, so, and I'm also adding like another color to give it some contrast. So the main color for my socks is this placid blue from Cascade Heritage. It's Cascade Heritage sock. Heritage sock. Um, the white is also Cascade Heritage as well. Um, the black is Valley Yarns Huntington. And so is the gray. And so, let me show you what I've done. Here they are. 
So I just used, I had a very pale pink and I had, actually this is the yarn I used, oops, for the eyes. It's, I just cut like the yellow bits out of it <laughs> to make the eyes. Um, there's a little bit of green in this one because daisies are kind of green, but they're mostly gold. Both of them were gold eyed kitties. Um, so yeah, so this one represents Dixie and this one represents Daisy and it's a mess right now. Like the floats aren't very, aren't very loose. So it, that's why it's puckering, but these are my socks and I don't care. Um, when I work on Ryan's socks, I will make sure that they, everything works better. <laughs> so yeah, so there's these. I am more than halfway through the foot. And this is what the back looks like. <laughs> so yeah. And it's just going to be this blue all the way through the rest of the sock. So I'm very excited about these socks. I'm glad to finally get these going. Okay. Projects that will be started. Actually, I only have one project that is going to be started right after the cruise. Because there is a deadline for this one. Um, my boss is going to be a grandpa <laughs> for the first time. He's so excited. Like, you bring it up. You don't even really have to bring it up. And he just, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. So, she, her his daughter-in-law is due in May. So, I need to get a blanket done. And I have a go-to baby blanket that I love to make. It is... So cute and it can look a little girly but I'll try to make it look more boyish because it is for boy um, you can find so many patterns of this blanket I usually use um, Rebecca Langford she's yarn and chai she has a, a I mean they're all free patterns what is going on here <laughs> anyway it is the Call the Midwife blanket. Um, I don't know if you've seen the show Call the Midwife. Um, there was an episode, I think it was one of the Christmas episodes. One of the babies is wrapped in a blanket that looks like that. And it is one of the easiest patterns. It's a potato chip pattern. Just let me do another section. Let me do another section. <laughs> um, and I had to go buy yarn for it. Um, my boss is a huge Michigan State fan, and I didn't want to do, like, bright green, like, like, the actual Michigan State colors. So, I went with something a little softer, and this blanket can stay at Grandpa's house. Um, so yeah, I decided to do, like, a pale green, and then a cream. Um, this is actually a big twist value, which is from Joanne. Um... This, it's all 100% acrylic, so it's easy to wash and dry. Um, this is the colorway Ivory, and this is the colorway Sage. So, it's still Michigan State-ish colors. Just not, it's in the same family, <laughs> I should say. So, I have two skeins of each color. I hope that's plenty. It should be plenty. Yeah. So, as soon as I get back from the cruise... I'll be starting on that to get that done. But as far as like what I'm going to work on while I'm on the cruise, let me show you. Um, first one is actually, it's already been started. I just need to finish it. And I figured I'm going to be gone for a while. I'm going to need stuff to do. <laughs> Not really stuff to do, but you know what I mean. Um, so yeah, it has been living in this Wonder Woman bag that I made myself. Um, it is the Siri Shawl by Hannah. Um, I like Cozy Cottage Crochet. Um, I have, I had two of these Lion Brand Shawl and a Cake. Um, cakes. <laughs> Um, this is the colorway Wind Chimes. I have one cake is already 
crocheted into this shawl. Um, oh, <laughs> that's where that progress keeper went through. So apparently the last time I worked on it, I did all that much. Anyway, so we'll move this progress keeper up while we're thinking about it. And we'll put it up here. This is where I ended. And I haven't touched it for several months, so figure this one will be nice for um, in the airport. <laughs> something nice, something simple. Yeah, because it's really simple. Um, I just oh, and I have a stitch marker here. It tells me which size hook I need. I need a G. Um. Put all this back in here. So I like to do crochet projects for the plane rides just because I don't want my needle taken from me. That would be cash. If a hook is taken from me, I can deal with that. Um, the other crochet project that I'm going to do um, is another really simple one. I've done this one several times before. It is the Cottage Linen Cowl by uh, Catherine Trinity. Very simple. I'm gonna, like the last one I made was a little too tight, so I'm gonna make sure it actually fits me. Um, oh, I have a stitch marker in that bag. Just didn't realize that. The yarn that I'm going to use is this one. So excited about this one. It is uh, the Unique Fingering by Earth Yarns. Um, and the colorway is 3094. They don't name their colorway. So if I were to name it, I would name it Pixar Cruise Fun. Because <laughs> I'm going on a Pixar cruise. Yes, I'm excited. Um, so again, something really simple to work on at the airport, at the hotel, on the ship, whatever. It's going to be living in a Mickey and Minnie bag because it's just too cute. I love this. So I think this evening I'm going to be working on getting all the yarns ready, even though I've still got two weeks. And then, of course, I wanted to do a pair of socks because, you know, that's me. <laughs> and I've had this yarn for a while, so I'm excited to actually work it up. It is Hobie Stilly Socks. Um, so it's a really funky striped pattern, um, self-striping. Um, the colorway is six which is gracious voltage so it's lots of greens and pinks and oranges and yellows and then i'm going to use this valley yarns huntington in the spring green for the contrast heels toes and cuffs and since my cruise is going to mexico figured i needed my frida Kahlo bag <laughs> so yeah those are my projects that I'm taking with me to work on. Um, I'm just going to do vanilla socks. Nothing, no big special pattern. Um, so yeah, those are the projects that are coming up. Um, I did want to share, I bought some stitch markers the other day. Um, these are from Expression Fiber Arts. Um, I'm sure a lot of you have heard of them. It came in this really pretty rose gold uh, thing. It's So they are 3D printed ones, so they're really light. I don't know if you can hear them. Um, yeah, ever since we lost Dixie, I have been like, I need kitty everything. I was never like this before, but now it's like, let me spoil my cat. Um, but yeah, so I got, so you have this one big stitch marker here, and then you have like 10 little ones. So let me see if I can pull one off. So 
you can see what it looks like. Yeah, it's just real simple cat one. And then um, it is made for crochet, although I don't know if I would use it for that. I used it when I was working on my udon beanie. Um, so they were great. <laughs> Um, yeah, so, and very light, and they don't snag, at least they didn't snag too bad, I should say, so, now that I've shown you, I can put them with the rest of mine, I might put them with my projects that I've got going, too, anyway, so, yeah, we will be leaving in a couple weeks to go down to Florida to catch our boat, our ship. <laughs> so excited for that. Um, Mary and I are ready for a vacation for sure. Um, so we're going on Disney Pixar Day at Sea cruise. Um, it's seven nights. We're just going to, we picked that because it's our 20th wedding anniversary this year. Yep. Um, we're going to Disney bound as Carl and Ellie from Up. So I figured that's perfect for our anniversary cruise. Um, this morning when we went down to um, get our taxes done, since we had lived in that area for so long, um, I stopped by the jewelry store and got my ring all cleaned and inspected to make sure that the prongs were still good. And they are. She said, you probably have about another year and then you'll have to get the prongs fixed or tipped or whatever you need to do. I'm like, okay, as long as my diamonds will stay in there, <laughs> I'm good. Um, and then also we met with our friend while we were down there who is our Disney vacation. She's our friend first and foremost, but she's a Disney vacation planner, travel planner. And so she helped us because we have an extra day in Orlando. It's like, Maybe we'll go to a Disney park while we're there. And so she was helping us figure that out. It's very last minute to be figuring this out right now. And I'm kind of stressed about that. I'm more stressed about that than anything else with this trip. So, anyway. So I won't see you till after the cruise. So I will hope you have a great time with your knitting and your crochet. And I will... See you when I see you. Okay, God bless. Bye. No, this is off. <laughs> what happened?